Hello and welcome to this demonstration of CATIA Conceptual Mechanical Engineering. Here we're going to illustrate the innovation capability of the CATIA 3D experience. And the process we're going to show is 3D Master Conceptual Design. This is available in the 3D Experience Release 2014X, on-premise and on the cloud. Taking the role of project leader, I'll show you how to innovate and compass my project with my own unique dashboard. So I begin, as I do every day, by connecting to my own environment. My job is to define the door opening mechanism of the blue conceptual car, whose design has been frozen by this styling department. It really needs to be an innovative solution while respecting the constraints of the concept. So here I have an image of the car in order to help develop my thoughts and seek inspiration. I also have a 3D play of the concept car, giving me multiple viewpoints to inspire me. I have direct access to communities where I'm an active participant, but I also have a dedicated location containing posts relating only to the Blue project. I also see the contents of collaborative spaces on which I'm active. On the community, I launched a request for thoughts on the study of the mechanism I will need for the door opening. I really want to involve and learn from all the mechanical designers in the community. In this post, I access an ideas space and I can view the list of ideas and following the published proposals, the positioning of each at any time. This allows me to follow the preliminary design studies. Several ideas have been generated by the community and from the balloon size I can see the reaction and the popularity of these various proposals. One idea stands out very clearly so I decide to study it in more detail. This is a proposal from Edward Sutra which includes an animation to communicate his idea more visually. I also notice that Joe Martins has contributed to this idea, proposing a mechanism which is already widely used in the aerospace industry, namely the Kruger flap. Joe has published the plans of the mechanism, photos and also a video showing the actual kinematic behaviour, so I'm keen to watch this. The contribution of different people is at the heart of the innovation process for a project like this. So I like Joe's idea, so I validate it and launch a conceptual study. I decide to contact Joe and look to see if he's connected through the instant messages in the community. I now invite him into the collaborative space well, we've begun to study alternatives. Here we see Joe's workspace and the chats between Joe and the project via the community manager. Joe receives his invitation to access the project. He has logged on to his dashboard with his own collection of workspaces. He sees that the collaborative space related to the project has been added and he connects to the environment. He sees the team already working on the project. He also has access to the existing data, the context in which he will have to design his mechanism. In order to access the blue concept car, search tags are already implemented and he sees door opening project appear. The filter allows direct access to the project. He selects the contents then selects the application to begin the conceptual study. Joe started this study using the CATIA 2D Layout for 3D Design app, which allows him to develop sketches of this first phase. He does this in the context of the complete vehicle, 
from different points of view, but all on a single page. He is able to pre-validate the initial behaviour through these multiple views on one page. In one of these views, he uses the outline of the mechanism to design associated 3D parts. For example, he takes the profile of one of the connecting rods to design the initial area of the large part. You can see the action bar giving access to the set of actions related to the chosen app. Joe will refine the design of this rough part by introducing axes and holes. For this he uses the Katia Natural Shape app, where everything happens close to the cursor. This allows direct manipulation, creation and modification of all forms, including fillet radii. So he reproduces the design of the complete mechanism. Having defined the assembly constraints and the linkages between each part, Joe can now manipulate and evaluate an initial level of kinematics in order to experiment with the mechanism's behaviour. He compares the deflection space of two mechanisms, one horizontal, the other the one he has just finished, in order to check compliance with the specifications of low space travel. He sees that the movement of the Kruger flap is close to what he imagined. And to validate all of the design, he applies a symmetry operation. Just one mouse click reproduces the entire mechanism, including the related kinematics. He also validates that when both doors are in motion at the same time, there is no interference between them. He decides that having achieved this first level of maturity, the project requires a review and therefore he publishes the project in the community. Now I'm back on my dashboard, visualising the first draft of the mechanism in 3D. You've seen the power of the Katia 3D experience in enabling innovation. The instinctive capabilities which empower each user and the social aspects which link teams, leveraging knowledge and ideas across the community.